You know, it's hard for me to sit here and act like I don't miss her. I, I loved her. I mean, I still do. I mean, I can remember she took us for ice cream every day that one summer. Chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip, and rainbow sprinkles. That was her favorite. I can hear her now. Marcus, don't get none of that chocolate ice cream on your shirt, boy. My mother. She tucked me in that night. Church every Sunday. I mean, we ain't have much, but look at me now. I'm a reflection of her. And she was taken away from me. Taken from us. Hey, you're the only two in here. Can you fold a little faster? I gotta catch the Giants game. You gotta win. We? You play for the Giants? Oh boy, here we go. What position you play? Let me know. Maybe we can get some bills paid or something. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it feels good to see you smile. I haven't seen that smile in a long time. Pam. Uh, I didn't mean anything by that. I mean, it felt so good to see you smile. Back to being you. The woman I married. Look, I know you're still hurt. I'm still hurt. You don't think I ask myself every day? Ask God why. Malik would want us to move on. He would want us to live our lives. He's here right now. Look, he's right over there. No, he's not. He's over there. He's running circles around you. Giants still gonna lose. Whatever. <laughs> see I can still see the ambulance lights that day walking home from school people running around neighbors crying I couldn't figure out what was going on couldn't figure out what the commotion was about Then my questions were answered. It's like it was in slow motion. My mother, in the middle of the street, as they zipped the black bag, felt like razors going through my skin. I wanted to see her. They held me back. How are they gonna hold me back from seeing my own mother? And I cried. I cried. For days. For months. 
for years. Why? Why does she have to die? Then a detective came and started asking me questions about a missing gun in our house. Man, I didn't even know we had a gun in the house. Months passed and that same detective came back. And said they found a gun. And it was thrown in the gutter somewhere in front of the house. That gun matched the bullets. It it was it was the gun that killed my mother. My mother. I miss her. Excuse me. Pam. Pam. Pam, what's wrong? That, that's the doctor that tried to save Malik. Yeah, that's right. Uh, she was there when, uh... Well, anyways, Doc. What brings you here? I didn't know you live in this area. Doc, you okay? You look a little tired. Long day at work? Something like that. I'm here to talk to you about your son. Well? Doctor? Please, call me Helen. Well, Helen, we know you did everything you could to try and help Malik. I mean, God took him for a reason. Yeah, and um, we appreciate your effort. You know, thank God that you were even there. This is not easy for me. You see, I'm a church going woman and I can't even sleep. Helen, it's, it's okay. Up, it... Helen, doctor. Whatever you're trying to say, please say it. I made a mistake. I had a long day. I mean, you have to believe me. They expect us to be so perfect, you know? But I was tired. So I took a couple pills. I didn't feel like my usual self. I convinced myself that I could do it. Just four more hours, then I could go home. I took the wrong pills, but I was okay. I was okay. Then your son came in and it was an emergency. So I had to go. I was the only doctor there. I don't even know what happened after that. My memory is still blank. I don't know what happened. And the nurses, they just looked at me. No one said anything. No one said anything until now. I can't even sit in church. Everywhere I go, I see your son. Nightmare after nightmare. Dr. Thompson, what the hell are you trying to say? It's my fault. I killed your son. I'm going to pay for my sin.
when the detective showed me a picture of the gun, I remember Mike used to go to the shooting range all the time and brag about his chrome desert eagle. I mean, how many people can brag about having something like that? But when the detective asked me if I'd ever seen that gun before, I said no. I said no. And I was, I was, I was, I was young and scared. Mike never talked to me about my mother. He just gave me a pat on the head. <laughs> a pat on the head. And I hate Mike. Wait a minute, take it easy, please. Take it easy. God, please forgive me. Please forgive me. No. I can't do this with you here. Just go. Go. Wait, not that way. Go this way. Wait, she stays. I need her to know how sorry I am. You're not taking my wife. Go. I love you. Please just go. Baby. I'm Rob, please. Okay, I love you did. God knows what you did. A black rose can't hide in a bed full of red roses. Here, Mike. I mean, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>